Hey, what are you guys up to? Playing Harry Potter because we're going to Harry Potter World. Is that today? Yes. Yes. Let's go. The Harry Potter series is one of the biggest film franchises on the planet. And for any of you muggles out there who didn't know, it was all filmed at Warner Brothers Studios just outside of London. Leavesden is still a working studio, apart from stages J and K, which are rolling out an amazing Harry Potter tour, where you'll get to see the sets, props and secrets behind the movies. We're going to show you what we got up to and give our top tips so you can have a magical trip too. And let's do it! First up, make sure you get your tickets ahead of time. Way ahead. You can't buy them on the day and if you're looking for a weekend at a certain time, you'll have to book around four months before. So if you're only in London for a couple of days, book it before you fly. If you're already here, it's still worth checking as late weekday tours are often available for the following week. Go for an early-ish tour, as you can stay all day once you're in. If you have a later time, get there an hour or so early so you can get your shopping done beforehand instead of after. Dylan had saved up his own money for a year to buy a wand, so we made sure we got that early. It was good timing as he loved taking it round the studios. Expelliarmus! We were still half an hour early after going round the shop, but were told we were allowed to go straight into the tour, which gave us much more time inside. Getting the kids dressed up for the occasion makes for brilliant photos and might give your kids the chance to open the doors to Hogwarts. I'm going to ask you two to come give me a hand because you look so cute. Come give me a hand on the doors. Yeah, because you look so cute. Come and give me a hand. There we go. Give the door a push. That's it. And a round of applause. Hang on, we need to rewind. We missed our first expert tip. <laughs> After queuing up, you're going to go into a room with three doors ahead of you to watch a video. Go as close to the left-hand ones as you can. That way you'll be able to sit on the front row of the cinema. Do I have anyone celebrating a birthday today? Just so you know, anyone with a birthday will get to open the doors. Hand. Come and give me a hand. Come on, birthday person. Now, I'm not saying you should get your child to lie, but um, I'm sure they had a birthday within the past year. Anyway, I think we're back to where we left off. It's time to say, welcome to Hogwarts. Once inside the Great Hall, grab your photos as quickly as you can, because this is the only part of the tour with the time limit. People quickly move to the front, so you might get the back to yourself. Got the whole Hogwarts to myself. Maybe plan what photos you want in there before and get them done as soon as possible. Walking around, it's amazing to think that this is where the magic happened for all the films, especially when you see what's behind the old walls. I'm so excited for them. It's like Disneyland, you see it all through their eyes. It makes it even better. From this point, the speed of the tour is up to you. The studios recommend three and a half hours, but with two little ones and a pregnant wife, we were there for almost double that. It says, touch the map and say, I am so I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. I solemnly swear that I'm up to no good. Made it work. Cool. They're just phone books, those old books. No They're way. Books. Well, it was a 
big cauldron behind you, Dylan. What's that bit in? It's just in the pub. The leaky cauldron. You see the... The actual fire! Nah. Uh. We didn't get the audio guide, but still had a great time. If you don't have children, I'm sure it's the perfect way to find out thousands of interesting Potter facts. These are passports. If you have got kids, make sure they pick up a passport which they can get stamped as they walk around. They also need to look out for the golden snitches around the place. Let's go find our clues. Pick it up. I want to find a golden snitch first. Okay, go and find them. I know where it, the first one is. Dumbledore's telescope. What does it say? It's the Gryffindor crest. It's the Gryffindor crest. It's just like a picture. <laughs> With this kind of interactive experience, they seriously didn't get bored once. It's the goblet of fire. Wow. It chooses if you're in the wizard tri cup. Oh. And it shoots a flame out. It shoots a little note out and says their name if they're doing it. Would you like your name to be that called out? That is so cool! As well as the sets, there are some cool green screen experiences where you get to ride a broomstick around London and Hogwarts. You have to pay for the photos and videos of course, the usual prices for a theme park, but there are loads of completely free experiences too. The magic broom, <laughs> special effects in the Forbidden Forest, The Weasley's Kitchen. I'm making it chop. Dobby's special motion tracking animation. And one dueling sessions that even pregnant witches can take part in. Make sure you take as many photos and videos as you can. The only place you can't do anything is in the green screen attractions. They're really good at letting you capture your memories. Why not plan some cool scene recreations? I mean, how often are you going to get to play on the actual sets? I'm going into the forbidden forest. Goodbye. Not any spells? One. But it's not powerful enough for all of them. Havada Kudabra! Thanks for that. Okay, this guy. Make sure you have a chat with the staff there. They have loads of extra info for you. It's a plastic animal. But what they did was they got lots of plastic animals, they kind of chopped them up. Um, and then they stuck them back together again in weird and wonderful ways and put extra bits of fur on and all kinds of stuff. So they look like magical creatures that we have no name for. See that? Mm. It's like a kind of a furry a squid. Of all your dollies and putting them yeah. together. Yeah. So don't try it at home. We had to fill a thousand jars. What do you think that is done? I oh, know. They're yeah, bones. Pig bones. Pig bones. Pig bones. Real ones? Yeah, real ones. They've been baked in the oven to make sure there's nothing icky on them. Gets rid of all the nasty stuff on them. And then sealed up in this jar a really long time ago. I have absolutely no intention of ever opening it. <laughs> yeah. What do you say? Thank you. Uh, You're thank welcome. You. Right. Very much. Surprisingly, you can take your own food into the studios. You just can't eat it until you're at the Backlot Cafe where there's loads of picnic tables. Another good place to pick up a snack is Platform 9 and 3 quarters. It has a gift shop so you can stock up on sweets for your ride on the Hogwarts Express, just like Harry and Ron. Just be careful what Bertie Beans you eat though. I'm going to try vomit. <laughs> oh! Oh, that you can't even eat it? That is horrible. I think all of them are wait, yummy. Wait, let's yeah. test this theory. Is that yummy? Is it still yummy? <laughs> I need light like green. Is that yummy? <laughs> it's changed a bit in flavour. 
Oh, there it is. What is it? <laughs> Give me another what one. What do you think it is? It is vomit. Uh, no, 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 no. I need another one. You actually want to vomit, don't you? <laughs> Earwax waver. Oh. Thankfully, the butter beer, which is suitable for kids, was much nicer. And they did have an ice cream version too. Yeah. You'll probably only need one between you all, as it's so sweet. Hopefully that'll save you some cash too. It's easy to forget how many magical moments there are in Harry Potter. At the halfway point, we've only really seen Hogwarts. We still had loads to see. Platform 9 and 3 quarters is huge and a great place for photos. You even get to go inside one of the carriages. You also have the chance to act out one of the green screen scenes on the train. There was also the three story night bus and this average British house in Privet Drive and the secrets inside. Going into the Dursley's house. Normal house until you look up. <laughs> Into his back garden. Oh, I thought we'd be more in the back garden than this. <laughs> ah. The model and mask store is larger than life and gives away all of its secrets. Did you know the hair on the spiders comes from coconuts? And just when you think you've seen it all, you get to walk the cobbled streets of Diagon Alley. I think he tasted okay. that vomit flavoured Bertie Burt bean. The attention to detail, craftsmanship, and scale of the films comes across in every room, so even a non Harry Potter fan would love it. Try to watch one of the films the day before, though, if you can. The climax of the tour is this huge, detailed scale model of Hogwarts that has to be seen in the flesh to be believed. How big is this? This is huge. Size of us, size of that. We're size... bigger than those people. Look how tall these people are here, and then how tall the building is. Take your time walking around so you can see the castle change from day into night every four minutes. Also, watch some of the videos as you walk around so you can see how the model was actually used in the films. This is where Harry Potter ended on this bridge. Our days were nearly finished too. I really like to come back. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye, Escape. If this video's helped you plan your visit, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more Life of Riley videos, then please subscribe so you don't miss a thing.